Osio. I'm Dennis Sixkiller from Tahlequah, Oklahoma. Marbles in Turkey is God Ayosti. That's the beginning of marbles. Nobody really knows for sure when it began. Yes, yeah, it's a team, it's a team game. You can win as an individual. You can make all five holes up there and back and you win as an individual, but then you have to have your teammates go back and make all five holes up there and back and they win too, but you gotta win as a team. If you win individually, you always go back and try out for teammates to advance hole by hole. Sometimes you follow somebody almost all the way to the game if you're ahead of everybody else, then vice versa. If they're ahead of you, they'll come back and help you out and that's how uh, the defense goes and they help you out and because their other your opponents are going to be sitting around somewhere, the marbles, they're going to be waiting for you to miss so they can hit you away. And your teammate comes along on the defensive side and they, they try to hit those other guys away so you can roll in. So it just goes on and on like that throughout the whole game. <laughs> in 1973, I was uh, 19 years old at the time, and uh, this old man, Ryan Jay, he said, let's go play marbles. I said, okay. So I had no idea how to play the game or how it was played or anything like that. And uh, so I went out there and me and him went out there and there was uh, my uncles and some of our, some of our friends and relatives, we were, they were out there. And, and actually I was the youngest one. And back then everybody was talking Cherokee. But that's when I first began playing Mormon and, and then I really liked it and I played it as much as I could and all the time I could. <laughs> I really liked it. Yeah, I'm glad the, this turkey marble we're talking about, I'm glad the younger generation is picking it up and they're in interested. And I think it'll be carried on for many years to come. There it is. <laughs>